Hello there guys, uh, right, so part 5 of this um, project, uh, we're going to paint Gimli the Dwarf. Um, Gimli is, uh, has mainly got a, a red cloak, um, there's lots of chain mail on him and some armour, uh, lots of gold, um, some brown boots, um, but the majority of his cloak is going to be um, red. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to get on and paint all of the chainmail parts or anything that I think is going to be silver. We're just going to give that a coat of um, bolt gun metal and that will start us off nicely for this part of the project. So we've got two characters already done now. The rest of them should work out pretty uh, quick. And we should have them done in the next few days, hopefully. We've got some time off work over the weekend. So uh, I'm going to be cracking on with this. Um, I've also got uh, a new games club that I'm, I've joined. I'm going to be learning how to play some of these games that I've been painting figures for. So I'm going to be travelling down to uh, Dumbarton on Sunday nights. And uh, be painting up some, some figures down there and, and joining in with some of the games. Learning what I can about this uh, this fantastic hobby of ours. So that's the chain mail underneath his cloak to start with. Um, we've now got all of the uh, the arm here. I'm just going to paint straight over this little bit of armour over his shoulder. And the reason for that is that I want it silver in the middle. And I want it... Um, I'm going to paint some gold around the edges of it just to make him a little bit special because I like Gimli Lazy Dwarf <laughs> so we just carry on with this as you can see there's, uh, there's quite a bit of, of chain mail quite a, a lot of armour on him which makes him quite a tough character in the game I believe so we're just going to carry on doing this the red base coat we're going to do in uh, Metcrite Red and that will be the next thing we do all the, um, the gloves um, these gauntlets he has here, we'll paint them up as well just as I'm going along I find that it's going to be uh, quite difficult to get in some of these bits around the armour but we'll manage it when I come to put the gold on later it's going to be quite difficult but we'll uh, we'll get in there Just show you how to do that later. Um, around his helmet, he has another some more chain mail. So just paint that up. We're going to leave the side bits of his helmet here because uh, we're going to do those gold. I think we'll do the uh, the top bits of the helmet. We'll we'll do them black. Show you how to highlight some some black while we're going at it. He has a red beard as well, of course. Um, so that's what we'll do that for now. Uh, we're now going to do the uh, the Metcrite red on the cloak. Just clean my brush off. And 
and we'll put some uh, some red out. We're going to paint his trousers red as well. Having looked at some uh, some still photographs of the uh, of all the uh, characters in the film for my uh, research, I've only had a lot of them. He had red trousers, so we're going to do those as well. There's some uh, some detailing around the bottom of his uh, his jacket here as well and we're going to pick that out in gold or some bronze or some sort of colour like that some nice bright metallic So the paint's quite thin. Um, it's probably going to take me a couple of coats on this one. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go and finish this off, and then um, we'll come back to you. Okay, guys. So um, what we've done now is um, put all the base coats onto Gimli and all his armour parts on his shoulders and his chainmail is all silver red on his uh, cloak uh, brown on his boots his strapping his beard um, I haven't done the top of his helmet yet because I'm going to do that in gold I'm going to use the Vallejo gold for that um, so uh, that will be done at a later, later stage um, the next stage um, we've got to do with this Gimli figure is to put the washes on. Um, so uh, it's the black wash uh, that I made up over every part apart from the face. Where we're just going to put a little dash of um, the Griffin sepia into that. Okay guys, so I'm going to go away and do that. Um, and then I'll come back and show you what that, that's like when I've, um, when I've done it. Thanks very much guys. Okay guys, so this is Gimli now done um, with the black wash. We're now going to start to uh, bring up the colours again. Um, we're going to start with his beard. Uh, all these little bits on his beard we're going to pick out with uh, a mix of the Rhinox Hide and Kemri Brown. And we're just going to pick them out, trying to leave all at that black wash in all the recesses so we've got lots of shading on this on this figure so we're just going in picking out all of the uh, parts which are his beard you don't see much of his hair around the back apart from the little ponytail so we're going to pick that out as well still going to be quite dark the color of that but we're going to put another highlight onto that in a little while just giving it um bringing it back up but leaving all the shading letting that shade do its work all that black wash do its work so we don't have to okay so that's that and done guys the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some um, mechrite red again for his cloak and we're just going to go over his uh, the red parts of his cloak again leaving all of the wash in the recesses It's just bringing it back out. Just giving us a uh, some nice shading in in this figure.
pick out the uh, little bits underneath his beard which will make his beard stand out a bit more and just these bits around his shoulders as you can see he's now starting to stand out he's going to be quite dark this figure so just pick out his trousers the little bits that are standing out around there around his knees again leaving all of the black wash and the darkened down red bits for, for shading just going to go over those and just round the other side of his, the back of his shoulder blades he's got some uh, some stuff on the back of his uh, his cloak here uh, looks like um, cloth like a a sleeping bag or, or something of that nature we'll pick that out later but all we're concerned about now is just putting the red back into the figure leaving all of the shading in, in its place so that's that done guys um, the next thing we've got to do is highlight the brown and we're going to use um, Kemri brown for that just to give it a slight highlight we can use Kemri brown and Rhinox hide we're going to use a 50-50 mix of that first So, just got to look at around the edge here, along his axe, just along the very edge of the top of his axe handle there, and this one here, and the very top of this little part here. And then just a lot again along the back and his boots I need a little bit just over his boots there. Boots are going to be in the shade underneath his uh, expansive belly like mine. So my other New Year's resolution is to try and get a bit fitter. I know everyone says it, but... Um, going to try and uh, maybe change the way I'm uh, eating and looking after myself a bit more alright so that's that one done guys um, next thing we're going to do is um, just some Kemri brown on its own to pick out the very uh, very edge highlights sparingly again and again here and there over the axe handle very edge at the top of it none of this underneath okay guys 
There's gauntlets we're just gonna do with Kemry Brown on its own, we're not gonna go in with the original mix. Just get a bit more water in there. It's starting to act a little thick. So try and keep your paints thin if you can guys. I know I keep saying this to you but I can't stress enough how important that is. A little line around there and I clean my brush off every now and again guys and and what I do is I then with the clean brush go back in roll my brush in the paint and that gives me the nice point that I need to to do these highlights just around the edge there on the back of the boots where you think the the light is going to hit and on the edges of his belt as well okay so that's that done guys um, the next thing we're going to do with this Gimli figure is um, go back into the red now that's dried um, we're just going to put a touch of blood red in with some mechrite red just to tone that down a bit but what we're going to do now is give just give the cloaker some highlights that's better wipe your brush round and then very very extreme edges just go in little dot here and there right on the edge at the bottom of the cloak right where you think the light will hit it at its highest point couple of bits there guys um, and on the very edge of these folds up the top here so it's just bringing it out a little bit more and because this paints quite thin what that's going to do is um, it's going to dry a little darker as well which is what we want with this Gimli figure all we're doing is just picking out the very, very hedges. Very hedges? <laughs> Make me sound like I'm a gardener now. Very edges of this. And just... Not too much. just enough to give it the red look that we're going for hope you can see that guys um, the next thing we're going to do is um, pure Kemri Brown onto the beard and this, again this is the very very edges of them just picking out the very edges of his beard I'm trying to use a limited palette for this as well. I'm trying to give it some form of uniformed look. And we just want to go back into the hair on the edge there. bit of red on the hair so we just take that out 
we spotted this Camry Brown and that's him done with that um, we've got the face and the, the hands to highlight um, we'll go ahead and do those next um, then we've got to come back and we've got to put some gold uh, around his helmet um, we're going to highlight the black in between um, the little cross on his helmet as well and um, we have the axe head to do and then we got to base him now because he's not actually standing on the ground he's actually standing on the tomb we're going to base him a little bit differently um, I'm going to use some uh, liquid green stuff just to make the base um, just to smooth it all out and um, I'll show you how we do that later thanks guys see you in a little while Hi guys, so right, uh, we now got the um, we've now got the uh, gold all over the Gimli figure. He's been highlighted. Um, everything's done with him now. Um, I've given some Griffin sepia wash over the axe head. Um, I've just got to do the, uh, the back bit here of his belt. Which has got some axes and, and stuff on, so I've worked out. Um, I'll do that in a little while, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base. And we're going to do the base slightly differently because of where a Gimli sits on, on the actual final base. Gimli stands on the tomb, so he's not going to have. Um, any sand or anything on it because it's quite a smooth surface so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put liquid gold all the way over the base uh, sorry liquid um, green stuff all over the base let that dry and when that's dry um, we should be able to uh, mark out some lines and stuff on it and it will, all this liquid green stuff will do is just fill in all of the gaps and the indentations on um, the base this is what I'm hoping for I've never done this before so um, this is what I'm I'm hoping for it's just going to be a bit of an experiment for for me as much as you but this is what I'm hoping it's going to do is just fill in all those little gaps because we haven't got any sand to cover it but hopefully this will uh, allow us to make the base look like he's standing on the tomb itself now I don't know if that's going to work or not but there's only one way to find out isn't there guys I thought about other ways of doing it and you know cutting plastic hard and putting him back in and putting um, putting him back on top of the base I need to fill in all these gaps I only usually use this liquid green stuff just for filling in um, little holes that you normally get onto a, on a miniature uh, or a model I've never actually used it for modeling with I've used green stuff a few times there we go what do you think of that it doesn't look too bad all we can do is let that dry see how it dries um, and then when it's dry we can see about undercoating it and uh, putting some some see if we can get some detail into it as well okay guys thanks very much for watching that um, I'll come back when that's dry and we'll finish the figure off 
So Gimli's now uh, had his uh, liquid green coating put over the uh, over the base. You have to excuse me, but I'm coming down with a bit of a cold at the moment, so uh, sorry if I sound a bit snuffly. So all we're going to do is just to match up the uh, the tomb that we did where Gimli stands is just give that uh, a coating of um, Adeptus Battle Grey. We're just going to go over and give that a, a good even coat. Again, that may take a, a couple of coats just to make sure it's all even. And what I may do on uh, this when it's finished is uh, is just highlight uh, some of this Adeptus Battle Grey to match the tube, and then. Uh, I may make a green stuff book or something to uh, to put over it. Some parchments and bits and pieces just to give the, the base a bit more interest because at the moment it's looking a bit bland or it will look a bit bland when it's done. I thought about maybe doing some uh, dwarven runes over it. I don't think that will that will work somehow and again all we're doing is really just really giving it a, a good even coat and this will be the, the figure finished doesn't need any highlighting on this because uh, of where he's going to be sitting because there's no highlighting in the middle of the of the tomb. So I just give it a good even coat. When that's dry, we'll go round the edge again with the black, just to tidy it all up. Make sure all that green stuff is covered. Oh, there's me go right over the edges there. Seems to be everyone in there. Uh, Everyone I know has come down with this cold at the moment. And I've just picked it up off of a, a few people. I felt it brewing over the last couple of days, but it's now really come out. Right, so that's him done, guys. And as you can see, Give that brush a quick clean. And now what we'll do is we'll just bring the uh, the tomb in. And you can see him in his position. Where he sits. So as you can see there's no real highlighting. To do on that, on that base. And that's Gimli done. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one.